Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can specify or uh, configure the filter which will filter your all the visualization that is on the report or a page. So earlier I have shown you the video on how you can have a filter only on a specific visualization so that you will show only those categories or values which your users want. Now we will see how we can filter everything that is present on a page. Okay, before I show you just a quick information that all of my previously produced videos are present in this sheet and you can access this sheet in my uh, in the, from the description so that you can keep it handy whenever you want to search or you want to continue your learning you can learn it just by searching the specific topic and jumping on this to, or clicking on this link the YouTube link which is present here and easily able to see this all right now let's move on to the power bi here so earlier if you see I have given you or I have shown you the specific filter which is I have selected this and then uh, the categories is coming here under the filters and for now I will just select all okay now if I will go back now to make sure that I have uh, I'm having the filter at a page level I'll just make sure that nothing is selected so I will uncheck that and uh, we have this filters on the page section so add fields here now we can specify any field for example we have the product category so we will drag this over here and now you see that we have these three filters so for example if we are creating only furniture dashboard then we will just have all the visualization but here we will specify that the visualization or all the visualization that we have will only show the values that is related to the furniture and that way you can easily create a furniture specific dashboard for example Let's say furniture, office supplies and technology is three different business units that your organization is having. Then you want, instead of creating three different dashboard, you create one dashboard, which is one for furniture. Uh, basically three, three different dash, uh, instead of creating three different dashboard, you create one dashboard, but in three different pages, one page for furniture, one page for office supply and one page for technology. Or you can create like a three different workbooks. Up to you what configuration you want. But the whole idea is that the furniture division will see only furniture information, office supply division will see office supply information and technology division will see only the technology information. That way you will make just one effort of creating one standard dashboard with similar look and feel. However, the business units will be viewing their specific information. So that way, let's say office and supplies. I want to show I can show office and supplies or if I want to show technology only on the visual on the report then I will only show the select the technology and it will only show the technology also if let's say there are heads on top of let's say two departments furniture and office supplies then also you can just create let's say one more dashboard or one more uh, slice of your dashboard by just selecting this furniture and office supplies and supply to them that will make your life very easy instead of doing any backend configuration in the data or something or creating multiple views or multiple dashboard doing it from here will be making your life easy and uh, and you will be able to do more in a less time so that's what i wanted to show you with a use case as to first of all why would you need a page level filter and second thing is how would you configure it and let's say in interview someone is asking you can take this example which I have shown you that will basically going to specify very very clearly as to why sometimes the page level filter is required. Alright with that uh, I'll meet you in the next video where I will show you report level filter which will basically filter all the visualization that is present in the report. So with that thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video.